All right, everybody, welcome to workout one for this week. I'm gonna do two recordings. The second half of this workout is all banned, so I'm gonna get set up in a, a better viewing position for the video. The first part of this video is all dumbbell and kettlebell. Uh, you can interchange what you have. I will show you how to make both of them work. But for this first one, we're gonna start with a dumbbell stationary left side deadlift to a lunge with a curl. So this is an add-on to what we did last week. So we're gonna take standing on my left leg, I have one dumbbell in each hand, straight leg deadlift, lifting from that back leg. Once you get all the way up to the top, that back leg is kind of come forward into a step lunge. When I get to the bottom, is where my curl is going to be, and then drive all the way back. So again, it's straight leg deadlift, all the way to the top, step lunge, curl, all the way back to center. You're gonna stand on only one side for the first time you hit this exercise. Then we're gonna go down to the ground for an alternating single leg push-up to scorpion. The same leg that I was standing on on the first move is gonna be the leg that has the weight on the floor. So I was on my left leg for that last move. Now I'm gonna kick, my left leg is gonna be going on the ground, right leg is gonna be in the air. So I'm gonna take my push-up first, when I get back to the top, I'm going to lift from that back leg and press back for that scorpion. Back to center without touching the foot. Push up. Press it back. And scorpion. Then you're going to return to your feet and repeat those two exercises. So I'm going to take the dumbbells again on my right leg for my stationary deadlift step lunge with curl. Then back to the floor with my weight on my right leg for the single leg push-up and scorpion. Once you have hit both of those, you're going to return to the floor using either a single dumbbell or a kettlebell, depending on what you have that weight-wise will work pretty good. Anything in the 12 to, depending on your strength, 20 range will work great on this one. If you have something that's super light, like a pair of fives, and maybe try to figure out if there's a way you can hold them together. It'll make this one work a little better. I'm going to use my kettlebell. It's a 15 pounder. Flip my watch around. So in this one we're taking a single leg chest press and bridge. So we did chest press out of both sides and some overhead and bridge last week. We're going to turn it into a single set. So my feet are planted. Kettlebell is in my left hand. I'm going to start with that elbow on the ground, since I'm going for a press, I can start it on the ground. Head flat on the ground, I'm going to start and remain in that bridge position. So pushing down through the ground, glutes are squeezed, hips are in the air, and then I'm going to take a chest press right here. Goal is to keep your weight in both shoulder blades as equally as possible. What your body's going to want to do is rock to the side that has the weight and rock back, that's what you're trying to prevent. If you have a heavy enough weight, you'll be able to feel your core trying to really stabilize as you press on that one. So you're gonna hit one side and then switch over and hit the other side. When you switch sides, come down, stick your legs in the air, kind of give your hamstrings a quick break before you switch sides so that you don't end up with cramping from that stabilizing the whole time. Then you're back up on the ground. So we'll repeat from last time, which is our dumbbell sprawls. So remember on these dumbbell sprawls, dumbbells and hands start, we're going down. If you are comfortable jumping out with your hands on your weight, you feel like they're going to support you pretty good and you can keep your shoulders over them, then you can keep the weight, your hands on the weights and then jump back in and stand. If you are not comfortable with that, either you're on more of a carpet surface or your dumbbells are a little more rounded, then please don't jump back with your hands on. Instead, set them down on the outside of your feet. Take your hands in, plank back, and then pick them up nice and strong. Alrighty, those are your exercises for the first half of the workout. Switch over to the second video and hit up the band exercises.